which are primarily uh, azure come from azure blue and these are uh, blue textile printed textiles and uh, uh, he was called khatri mohammad siddiq now uh, once somebody from abroad came and wanted me to accompany her because she wanted to do documentation of azure printing uh, in kash and she didn't know the language and didn't know the person so and i always enjoyed going to kash any opportunity i would miss and to the workshop of uh, mama siddiq so uh, she was writing down and i was interpreting so she asked uh, you know when you do red dye red dye uh, natural dye with alizarin or al root then you have to first dip the cloth in in a solution of alum any sour stuff but alum is standard uh, i think in which they they dip it once the cloth is prepared uh, what we call modern so the cloth is modern in 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 alum which is colorless but sour stuff after that when it is put into dye which is colorless all root dye boil is colorless but when you put this uh, alum cloth into uh, uh, into the dye which is colorless and you take out from oxygen in the air and become red this is a simple thing so uh, this was conversation going on now um, the girl said uh, he was showing demonstrating it's a very interesting story for my in my life i want heard something better than that in my entire 40 year career of uh, working with crafts and handicrafts and folk arts and things that she asked him that how much alum to how much water so he laughed he was always joking so he laughed and said uh, do you see any scale in my hand <laughs> so yeah. uh, so she got a little irritated because she wanted to do her documentation so then uh, she changed her question again and said reframe the question uh, reframe the question and she said how do you know what kind of red will you get when you put a certain amount of alum as mordant because mordant is a very governing uh, uh, element in in dyeing of red in natural dye So he said, "Yeah, you have asked me a right question now." <laughs> and um, so he was taking like this and dropping, uh, you know. So she, how do you know? She said, "Which red you will get? So if you put less alum, you may get pink. Mm-hmm. But too much, you may get dark brown or something like that. So shades would differ." Then what he did was miraculous. He in a plastic bucket, he just uh, mixed alum. and lift little bit of water <laughs> took out his tongue <laughs> and then he uttered a sentence which to my feeling is classic it's vedic it's anything beyond that he he said as as i savor the taste of red uh, as i savor the taste of alum on my tongue i visualize the shade of red that i will get now look at Yeah, yeah. The, the yeah, yeah. perception, the body, the <laughs> perception comes from from many other things. Yeah, the yeah. visual red is the shade of red is visual. Yeah, but perception is through tongue. Can you believe? Mm-hmm. Has anyone ever heard a thing like that? And there, are, as you work with uh, uh, all craft people, folk artists, things like that, you do get. Uh, when you go into something you get this perception that one day many years ago changed my working with people and that when justin said cooking he brought in suddenly i said well this story came to my mind now this is fantastic what he's saying that the, i recollect you know those who make chola bronze in southern india and uh, we in english we call it a key line if you stand It's erect. Mm. If you uh, split your uh, your top ear hip, then it changes. And there are eight of hangi, two of hangi, three of hangi. Whether in sculpture or dance or whatever is the same. Okay. When he does a uh, murti, eh, 
they pour milk on the top of the head it has to come to the toe yeah. so that the brahma rekha they call it mm. you see i don't believe in traditional art or contemporary art and all that sort of thing i believe in art or no art okay so i am um, i I, uh, i use a, a naughty expression i steal the energy of others you know the point is whether it is da vinci whether it michelangelo or a chinese when i do ink painting i'm not studied in painting in china or japan everybody says if you learn you yeah, this is like chinese ink painting japanese ink painting do you know 90% of artists in our country don't know or even common people the ink was evolved at the same time as it was in china uh, the pelican in germany writes indian ink to black ink ab samajh rahe so we have a deep inferiority complex and as i was talking of the rhythm of the figuration of our country you know the our traditional artist i won't use the word artisan of the artisan of craft and etc they are very simple they don't narrate anything like he said he just touch that then he knows how much of red it will be stronger or lighter red or whatever so like he's pouring the milk on the top of the chola bronze eh so uh, uh, bhangi you know different here yeah. so if you if you uh, 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 as you know that in our ashram where people studied art eh and a, 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 a prince went to the ashram He said, "I want to learn music. You want to learn music? Okay. So the music teacher said, 'Go and learn Mindangam.' Mindangam said, 'Learn sculpture, etc., etc.' Then the prince is put up in the garden to look after plants, animals, and wash clothes. Hmm. And after two months, the guru goes to him eh, and said, 'Now in a winter night, let's bathe and sit on the rock and now do some.' Because by then he knew the kalkal of the river." he you know the tree the plants and everything growing so natural exposure was there so this is how our families or ashram or learning to play this is how our dancers at the beginning did and dancers had to be a singer to be a painter to be you know everything all in one so likewise no so fantastic and and china japan still inherit their tradition as i said even if a contemporary shop they go through the craftsman eh? and they in china japan there and and malaysia all over we have lost it we must revive it and not create border between tradition and contemporary thank you please i think we are approaching towards the <coughs> yeah, yeah, just this is yeah. point to your chola brown this yeah, yeah. uh <coughs> Chola was a dynasty in bronzes that were created.